Okay, how's it going? Um, I hope you guys are enjoying fall because uh, this is my favorite season and I'm enjoying it so far. I'm going to talk about some things that I've been doing in the garden and um, I'm going to start off with this. This is really cool. This is, what, what year is this from? This is the uh, catalog book from Baker Creek for 2012. And um, the picture in the book right here, this is a hollow crown parsnip. It's a really cool and tasty variety of parsnip. And it's a medium sized variety of parsnip and I have been harvesting these and eating them and they are amazing. Um, I've been putting them in soups and they're packed with flavor. Um, and I have a pretty good amount of these parsnips. So I gave a few to my neighbor and I've been pulling them up. So these are very cool parsnips and I enjoy watching these parsnips grow. Very cool. And parsnips are very cold hardy and they can go very deep into the winter. And um, they actually develop more flavor with the, the frost. So when the frost comes, I'm going to enjoy eating these parsnips because it's going to be really tasty. Okay, Jerusalem artichokes. I have two varieties of Jerusalem artichokes. I have a pink crispy and a stampede. And um, the pink crispy variety I've actually planted in containers. And they didn't do too well in the containers. I was harvesting some of the seeds from these dry flowers of the pink crispy variety. And I was wondering if I would be able to actually harvest the seeds from these uh, Jerusalem artichokes because I know that people hand out the tubers and plant tubers just like they do with potatoes to grow these Jerusalem artichokes. Um, so it should be interesting trying to grow these from seed. Um, there weren't many seeds in the pink crispy variety because there was only a few flowers and um, I had a great time finding these seeds. I was actually pretty stoked and I have about four yeah, seeds. And I'm just going to scramble through the fl dried flower here and you see right there we have two seeds. So I've been getting seeds from these really cool variety of juice and artichokes. This plant is very closely related to the sunflower and um, the seeds actually look like very small sunflower seeds. So um, I have some pink crispy juice and artichoke seeds. In one of the containers I had the pink crispy juice and artichoke growing in, I actually pulled up the juice and artichoke and it was pretty root bound with the shape of the pot. So it was pretty cool to have it pretty much intact in the shape of the pot because you can actually see the way that these things are growing. So here we have the pink crispy variety of uh, Jerusalem artichoke and this one was grown in a container it didn't thrive too much but it's a perfect example of showing the way these Jerusalem artichokes grow and as you can see you have these sunflower like stalks and the tubers run at the end of each root and they send off shoots and that's where the tuber will swell into a nice Jerusalem artichoke and this variety is pink crispy and uh, you can see the roots are going all throughout this block of uh, soil and sending out tubers. Very, very cool. Here's a small piece of the pink crispy uh, Jerusalem artichoke and um, you see the flesh is very pink, hence the name pink crispy. It's really cool. Um, I do plan on growing these next year. Um, I'm probably not going to eat most of the tubers of the Pink Crispy because I don't have many. So I would like to store them to uh, plant for next year. They taste very much like most of the Jerusalem artichokes that I've eaten. But um, the way they grow is actually quite interesting because the way the shoots are shaped. Reminds me of a water chestnut. And this is the other variety, which is a stampede, and the tubers are much bigger, and the plants, they've grown the ground since the beginning of the season, and um, I'm sure I'm going to have a ton of these when I harvest them. The tubers, as you can see, are much bigger, and very interesting shaped. Juice and artichokes. Here I have the seeds of a uh, Japanese Minoways Daikon Radish, and um... I planted a few of these recently and they're taking off and uh, hopefully within a month or two I'll have some nice sized daikon radishes because I am a big fan of radishes. These seeds were given to me by a friend so it's really cool. I have a ton of these seeds and um, just experimenting with this cool variety of radish. I've noticed uh, these really cool wildflowers that bloom every year in my backyard. 
and I'm not exactly sure what kind of wildflowers they are, but they are beautiful. And um, very interesting looking wildflowers. I actually uh, cut some and put them in a the house. And if you happen to know what variety of wildflower this may be, please comment below and let me know because I would like a good collection of wild native plants. Um, very cool. I also recently just got a job at a uh, co-op market and um, all the produce that uh, gets thrown out daily um, would end up in the trash in the landfill but um, I actually have the privilege of taking that home with me and making compost. So instead of this unwanted produce being thrown in the trash and probably thrown into a landfill or burned, I am taking it home and saving it from that and I'm going to break it down and return it to the soil where it belongs and I'm going to make a ton of nice compost. I'm actually building a pile right now and I've been saving all the leaves from my backyard and um, there are plenty of leaves still on the tree that still have not fallen and I will be building a pile. I hope to build a really big compost pile, maybe two or three piles actually and um, throughout the winter I hope to make some really good compost and uh, bring you some videos on making compost too. Hmm. Yeah. So let's just say, look at the garden. Some Jerusalem artichokes, which is a really cool thing. The seeds, 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 and more seeds. Seeds are super important. And um, I would like to order some more seeds too because I've been looking at some uh, really cool varieties of vegetables that I would like to grow in the future. So hopefully some more seeds will be coming in soon, and yeah, till next time, thanks for watching.